Hey everybody, I'm Dave Luke, the Trapper Guy. I'm a nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area, Florida, and today I'm going to be talking about baby black racers. Now I know what you're thinking, that snake's not black, but it's not just pretending to be black. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Now it actually is a black racer, but when black racers hatch from the egg, they're actually a grayish color with a reddish brown pattern going up the back. And that's probably a natural protection, a camouflage to hide them from predators before they get bigger and faster as the adults are. Now starting when they're about 12 inches long, they start losing that pattern. And by the time they're two foot long, they're usually jet black like all the adults you see. Now because of that pattern on the baby black racers, it's very often confused with other species of snakes. There's a lot of different snakes that are small like that and have varied patterns on it. Um, there's the corn snake which it's confused with, but probably most often the species it's confused with is the pygmy rattlesnake. Now there is a difference between the pattern in the baby black racer and the pygmy rattlesnake. On this video, I'm not going to get into that because for the layperson, it's very difficult to tell the difference unless you're looking at those snakes all the time between the pattern. Also too, uh, the small snake like that, there's difference in the pupils of the eyes, but you're not gonna get down that close to see. And also to the rattle. Uh, pygmy rattlesnakes don't really have a rattle that is audible. Um, but they do shake their tail and guess what the baby black racer as most snakes when they get irritated or defensive They will rattle their tail also now one of the best ways to tell the difference Not 100% but it's going to tell you whether it could be that rattlesnake or it is a baby black racer is the baby black racer uh, is very uniform in the diameter throughout the length of it um, for three quarters of its body, it's almost like a string, very long and skinny. Whereas the dusky pygmy rattlesnake, um, at the front and back of it, it's very narrow, but the middle of that snake, it gets very fat. So it's actually a very thick snake for its size compared to the baby black racer. So if you're a person who's kind of afraid of rattlesnakes in your yard, Remember the baby black racer, when it gets bigger and it's an adult, it actually will eat baby rattlesnakes. So they're the good guys to keep around. So hey, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you wanna know a little bit more about black racers as adults in the species, I'm gonna put a link right up here and you can go check that video out. 